Welcome to December. Can we believe it's December? No, I feel like it was only just October. <laughs> the fields are starting to get a little bit muddy. Um, the temperature is dropping. We are starting to get into winter, although it's still really, really mild. I see some ponies. So today, look, here's the, here's the state of the gateway. Could be worse, could be better. Um, today we're taking Estrid for a little trip out from home. Um, in my mission, I guess, my task for winter is to get her to be more comfortable with going out and about, um, less sweaty and stressed, um, and generally lower heart rate, bring her nervous system down. So that means trying to take her out as much as possible because from home, packing out, good as gold. Um, the two things we need to work on are going away from home, being at new venues. She's actually really good to ride, as you have seen if you've seen the latest vlogs. Um, it's just that venue nerves. Um, and also riding out with other horses. So when she's by herself, she'll literally go through, round, between, under, anything with some persuasion sometimes, but she's never kind of said no to anything or been dangerously spooky. But when she's with another horse, she's definitely the bottom of the pecking order in our little herd. And Rue is quite grumpy towards her. He'll put his ears back and go to bite. Um, he's definitely in charge, he's quite dominant. And I think that's made her a bit scared of like going side by side horses and taking the lead and stuff. So she's always at the back and kind of stepping away from the other horses when we're riding in a group and I'd really like her to get comfortable with being in the lead or at least sharing the lead she doesn't have to be in the lead the whole time so that's my december goals with estrid here they are hi ponies and then rue for december he's been doing really well in his rehab um kind of up the next level and because of the weather and i don't want to do that much schooling with him still because i don't want to be on so oh, I don't know why I'm so out of breath. It's not that big a hill, walking really slowly. I don't want to be doing too many circles on soft ground with him. So he's having December off. Not completely off, but mainly off. He, Yosh, will just go out the weekend when it's light and hacking out. And then in January, we will start putting all our nighttime lights on and doing hill reps in the dark after work um, but his rehab's been going so well that I don't want to like this would be the stage where I kind of start to push on and really it's not the time to push on so we're we're taking a little step back with him giving him an easier month and then we'll crack on again in January hey you look a hairy beast <laughs> you're a hairy beast then Tizzy um, she will be doing bits and bobs over winter, but not too much because she struggles to maintain. Tizzy, what are you doing over there? She's looking over the fence. She struggles to maintain weight. So she's just ticking over over winter. And I think a few weeks time and she'll be coming in at night because the grass is starting to dwindle and we'll have to start feeding haylage and she can't chew it. So that's kind of where we're at. What do you want? I don't have anything, huh? It's not your day today. It's not your day. Um, so the plan this weekend is to take Estrid out for a nice little local ride from home. It's like a 10 minute drive. Get her used to doing venues. You're literally putting your head in the, in the head collar. You can't come out today. It's not your day. Um, and then I'm gonna give her like a quite a decent scrubbing bath after our ride because tomorrow, um, I'd like to clip her. She has been doing some clipper training for the last few weeks. I stood her next to Tizzy when Tizzy was clipped and every time she's come in, I've been running the clippers over her. Hello, Estrid. Hi. <laughs> um, so hopefully 
this weekend is the weekend for her to have some proper clippers. There's something in the field over there. Hold on. Oh dear. What is this? Man. I'm really sorry for your loss, but please stop letting things off into nature. This is plastic and it's got string on. And if it was flying around, it might scare livestock through a fence. So I'm sorry for your loss, but there are better ways to remember your nan than this. Okay, back to, let's get Estrid and take her out for a ride. Hello, Wizzle. Hi. You're going out tomorrow. He? It's a balloon. There's a balloon. Hello. Oh, there we, that, see what I mean about Rue? She's always in charge, aren't you? It's the balloons with her. Yeah. Right, let's get Estrid and take her for a ride. Come on. Walk on. You may have noticed while I was washing her feet that she has this crack here. Well, it's not a crack, it's, it's a man-made hole. So when I got Estrid, she had a crack. Her hooves were fairly brittle and she had a crack in this hoof. And it's been nine months now and it just keeps like tracking up her hoof. So my farrier said that it's because the anaerobic bacteria is still in there, making that bit of the hoof softer and keep going up. He tried to like offload it with trimming and stuff, um, but couldn't quite do it. So he decided to take like a proper chunk out to stop the mud going up. And now we put Keratex hoof putty here in here and the um, copper sulfate to kill off the bacteria and it hasn't tracked up since, and it's looking really, really good. Um, so although it looks like a big hole and it's a little bit terrifying to look at, hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be the end of that crack. Oh, I'm so sniffly after grooming you. You were so dusty. So all groomed, well, as clean as I care to make my horse for hacking at home. Get on the lorry and go. I missed a bit here. Shall I get that bit first? Yeah, should we get that bit first? Okay. <laughs> You're so funny how you always do that. Good girl. This is the moment of truth, Estrid. I mean, we're shaky, but are we sweaty? Hey? Are we less sweaty? Still sweaty. Still shaky. You're all right. We'll get used to it. One day, hopefully. Hey? What have you got on your nose? All tacked up and ready to go. Definitely less shaky. Like still on edge. Still a bit shaky, but definitely better, huh? Definitely better. Not screamy. We're getting there. A few more weeks, maybe we'll be chilled. Then. Oh God. Good girl, that's a bin. You're so good at containing yourself. Just untangle our reins. What's that about? Oh, it's the tree, is it? Is it a funny looking tree? You're all right, you're all right. Wait, hey, it's just a tree. It's just a tree, fluffy one. Good girl, take it steady, take it steady. You don't need to go past it yet. Just have a good look, you know it's not moving. Well done. Come on then. All right. We don't want to get stuck in brambles, do we? Good girl. Good girl. Well done. Estrid now responds really well to a bit of kind of comfort leg, is what I like to call it in my head. Is that if she's not sure, if you keep your leg on gently, it kind of gives her that confidence to keep going. If you take your leg off, she goes, oh, I'll go backwards then. You're gonna have to go in the water. Good girl. 
well done. Have I gone the wrong way? I've got an alternative route, Esther. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. It is technically still automated. Okay, mind this tree stump. Well done. <laughs> You're so keen, see? You're so keen. Oh, that's good. This will be excellent practice, won't it? We haven't been through water by ourselves in a while. Wow, well done. Take your time, you don't need to rush. Have a little look first. Yeah, you can do anything. I mean, looking that way. Good girl. Ah, ah, ah. No. Extra. No. <laughs> Wrong way. You can't just pretend it doesn't exist and go the other way. A few moments later. Good girl. Go on, you're almost in. You're almost in. Well done, Extra. Well done. Right, let's just keep doing that until you're comfortable with it, hey? Good girl. Well done. We're going to keep doing it. You're like, no, you want to. Come on. Come on. Walk on. You've done it now. Well done. Well done. Right, we're going to go into the running water. You got this. Oh, clever girl. Come on. Steady. Well done. Oh, you're so good. Can we not go in the tree? <laughs> well done. Hey. Okay. We still haven't managed to get canter down yet, have we? I think I need to do my girth up. <laughs> They're just birds. Pigeons, actually. A little light came off. So I had to get off to get it. No, I'm not sure where we can get back on. Okay, now we've got a bramble. Oh dear! <laughs> See what I mean by my saddle? Definitely need a shorter gear. saddle fits are coming soon, don't we, Esrid? We do have to change shape a bit, and although I can do it myself, I think, there's a few fine tuning tweaks to be had. <laughs> In the moment, we don't have a canter button. Yay! We have a really fast trot button, but not a canter button. Is it? Oh, you've got such a good canter, haven't you? You yeah, have such a good canter. Um, <laughs> where are we going this way? Where are we going? Okay, we're back. Where all the water sounds and puddles and streams to go through are. Are we going to go through them first time? Yes, we are. Well done. I mean, that was a little bit cheaty going around the edge, wasn't it? Here we go. Well done. I wouldn't go that way. Yes, she is. Well done. You're the best little body. 
it's the lorry donut. I need to good girl. What a good girl you've been, huh? Should we untack you? See you back at the ranch. Yeah? Ta da! We're back. That was definitely better. That was definitely a step in the right direction, wasn't it, Estrid? Less sweaty, less screamy, less shaky. I mean, still there, but better. Now I am going to give her a good bath. With some warm water, Estrid, you'll be glad to know, because tomorrow I would like to give her her first clip. So let's get you all cleaned up, huh? Yeah? Okie dokie. I'll get the kettle on for you. Good girl. And then a little one so I can put it in. clean let's pop her back out and hopefully tomorrow she'll be still vaguely clean um, and we can do her first clip whoa that was very violent haylage removal come on then let's put you back out it is now the day after the day before um Astrid is actually feeling all right there's only a few really muddy patches that I'll need to wait to dry to clip look at this face Look at your face is all muddy, um, but we are ready to clip. I'm in my clipping outfit, so all the hairs just slide off. Um, I think I'm going to forego a hat and glasses today. I might regret that, um, but it's quite warm. It's not normally this warm when we clip, is it? Um, so let's get started. I'm going to start with a bib clip. My aim is to do a bib and a kind of endurance style blanket at the back leaving the girth and saddle area and half her neck but I'm going to start with a bib see how she is if she's really good I'll do the full thing if she gets quite stressed we'll stop at a bib and we'll do it in stages yeah you can just eat haylage so let's get going <laughs> So far, so good. Like for her first clip ever, she's been amazing. Um, I've got the bulk off, um, but the lines and things and the little details, I think we'll have to wait because she's starting to get a little bit antsy. So making all these look nice and pretty and getting it all finished off, we'll have to wait for another day. 
So we are functional and practical for now. I don't want her to start getting like angsty and this to be a bad experience when it's been so good so far. The worst bit was the neck. She doesn't like it here, which is fair enough to be honest. But otherwise, incredible estrid yet again. Just goes to show we spent about six weeks slowly getting her used to the clippers and stuff. That slowly, slowly really works for you, doesn't it? Yes. I'm just gonna finish off with a hot cloth cleanse to get all those little hairs off, rug her back up, put her back in the field. You've been such a good girl, haven't you? What are you doing down there? Just to get all the little hairs off, Estrid. Are you keen to go back out? So proud of her for her first clip. Really good. Um, all I've got left to do this weekend now with the horses is I'm gonna bring Tizzy in and take her out for a little hack. Um, but I'm gonna finish this vlog here and you can come for a hack with Tizzy and I next time. I'm just gonna turn you out and I'm sure you'll have a nice muddy roll. Tizzy, are you ready for your turn? She's like meh.